Hey guys, it's the Apple Ninja. We're going to get Steam installed on this M1 Mac. It's super smooth. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it. There's a lot of uh, games that you can play. Tons, actually. And let's get this installed on this M1 Mac. We've got Mac OS Monterey that we're going to install it on. Open up Safari. Type in Steam. Head over to this URL. Up in the right-hand corner, click on the Install Steam and then Install Steam again next to the Apple. Double click on that DMG that downloaded and drag the Steam app over the Applications folder. All right, once it's in there, we're gonna double click on that. And we're gonna double click the Steam app. It is gonna require us to install Rosetta, so click Install. You won't get that message if you've already installed Rosetta. And this is only required on the M1 Max, right? So Rosetta is only required because the Steam app was built for Intel Max. It wasn't built with the universal binary, so it will require Rosetta on the Apple Silicon Max. All right, so we're gonna double click this guy again. It's gonna do some updates. We're gonna let it get updated. All right, let's double click this thing again and see what's going on. Still updating. Come on, Steam, I'm, I'm jonesing for some gaming. Let's do this. All right, if you need to create a new account, click that top one. I'm going to sign in with my account. The first time it's going to send me an email, it's going to send me a code in my email that I need to enter in to basically get this device approved with my Steam account. So I'm gonna enter in that code. All right, signing in. Unfortunately, I ain't got no friends. Gotta buy them for $2.99 each. And I ain't got that kind of money, just kidding. No, but there's tons of games in here. So I'm just going to click on library and click download next to Chrono Stop so we can play that game and see it on the M1. Uh, but just head over to the store and you can navigate through tons of titles. I mean, there's so many titles. All right. I launched the big screen mode, full screen mode, where it looks just sweet. I mean, this is awesome. I'm going to click on library and launch that chrono shot so I can install it. I'm going to show you where all these data files are stored as well, which can add up really quick when you start downloading these things, the next thing you know, you've got gigs and gigs of games on your system. So you'll want to know how to uninstall this as well, which I'm going to cover at the end of this video. All right, we are close. All right, let's click play and see if this thing launches.
So far, so good. Awesome. Oh, it feels smooth. See how it feels. Oh yeah. This feels really smooth on the M1 Mac. Extremely smooth. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Look at that. Oh, slow-mo action. All right, to uninstall Steam, there's quite a few files that we need to get rid of. We're gonna head on over to the Applications folder and start with the actual app first. Eat it, throw that thing in the trash. And then we're gonna go up to the Go menu and hold down option so that you see library select that and then double click on application support and go down to the steam folder i'm going to get info on this folder just to show you how big it is 2.54 gigs you know there's a game in there let's take a peek at the game itself just so you know the location of these things and there's the game We're going to delete this whole folder. Command D. Then I need to head on up to delete the save state. Back in the library folder, at saved application state. Delete the Steam one down at the bottom. And we're going to head back into the library folder, head over to preferences folder, delete the preference file out of there. And then we just have one last file that we need to grab. We're going to head back to the library folder and we're going to head to launch agents. I have a launch agent in there. Let me get rid of that guy. Empty the trash and steam is completely removed from your Mac. All right, guys, hopefully you liked that video. Get subscribed to the channel, man. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.